Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackHere.com, and I'm back from a journey. I've traveled the world trying to solve a problem that I had. My motorcycle, I didn't treat it with respect. If you saw my bike before, not right now, you'd think of Pigpen, right? Charlie Brown Pigpen, dirty. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this thing to be supermodel, smoking hot. You know, in life, you take women, you take motorcycles. Man, they're really similar. They just run parallel to one another. Last time I rode this bike, it was pig pen dirty. And you know what? The performance was fine. Bike rode fantastic, no doubt about it. So the important part was good. That's the part that's on the inside. Now let's look at it from a perspective of it being a lady, right? If you can take that performance and have it in a gorgeous supermodel package, well, that, my friend, is called winning. How did I get there? How did I take this from pig pen to supermodel? Well, number one, I did a lot of research. Number two, I invested a tremendous amount of elbow grease into this because this bike had not been properly cleaned in three seasons of track riding. Three seasons, at best, I blew it off with a blowgun and maybe wiped it down with some Windex. I would not label that as maintenance. We started the project by identifying the chemicals and tools that I wanted to use. Maxima. Stuff's made in America. I spent a lot of time talking to these guys and you can see the bike's really clean so I've already cleaned it and I have the experience. This is the brand that I chose. The dirtiest thing on the bike, no doubt about it, was the chain and sprocket kit. The very first thing I cleaned was that and I used their chain care kit. It's a three-piece kit. We're going to show you some video of before, after, and me doing it and I also used this Tyrox 360 degree chain cleaning brush in conjunction with this and you can see this threads right on there and it allowed me to take this RK chain from nasty to gold sparkling very quickly. This three piece kit includes chain cleanup. You're going to spray that on the chain. You're going to let it hang out and soak for a minute. Okay. Once you've done this, we're going to come after it with their MPPL. This is their multi-purpose penetrant lubricant. I want you to think WD-40, but better. I am going to use the chain guard. This is their crystal clear synthetic chain loop. I don't want a bunch of chain wax on my bike. I want my chain to be sparkling and well lubricated. A clean chain that is well lubricated. It's additional horsepower. It's less friction, right? So this is actually an important maintenance thing. Plus the bike's going to look super bitchy. So if you've got a gold chain, a black chain, you know, anything but that stock chain, you're going to want to be able to see it. And I think this is the right choice for any rider that wants that. They have a second kit that has a chain wax base. That's the thicker, more whiter. You're going to lose some of the sparkle on the chain. You're going to collect more lube on the sprocket and such. So choose which one's right for you there. This one you're going to have to keep up on a little more. The other one, the chain wax, if you're a high mileage rider, right, like our, like our guy here, Corey, tons of miles on his Beamer, like 12,000 already this year. For him, the chain wax is more appropriate. Okay, we started, we cleaned the chain. We cleaned the dirtiest thing on the motorcycle, behind the counter shaft, sprocket cover, everything. We got all the really nasty stuff off the bike. Remember, three years of track riding without being properly cleaned. The heavier cleaning, now wheels, motor, inside of the body works, all these different areas, a lot of grime. There's two products from Maxima that we're gonna focus on. I used both of them, they both work great. Electrical contact cleaner, okay? And suspension clean. I want you to kind of ignore the names and let's focus on what these products do and how they work. Heavier cleaning, the contact cleaner is good for that, okay? like motor grime, heavier grease. You don't really want to focus on a lot of the painted surfaces and such with this. The suspension clean is less aggressive than the contact cleaner. This can be used on your plastics painted surfaces, you know, even a carbon fiber that's, you know, got a resin finish to it, right? It evaporates a little bit quicker than this one does. Either one of these Right, I was able to use up front cleaning the calipers. I got Max's toothbrush here. I took this thing. He's not using it. He's 12 years old, so why not put it to good use? Brought it here, and I use this to help scrub down the calipers, right? 
and rinse them off. You know, got in there with the pistons, right? Cleaned off all the seals really nice. And what's good about these two is these aren't so aggressive. They just dry everything out, but they really help with that heavy cleaning. Once I had the motorcycle clean, right? Got all of the heavy stuff cleaned off. It was time to finish it. And we're not only finishing it, but we're also setting ourselves up for that next cleaning to go really easy by having in the critical areas, the areas that are exposed to a tremendous amount of road grime, a protective coating that makes that next clean really, really easy. We'll start off with SC1. This is more silicone based, okay? This is gonna protect the bike and protect it from grime adhering to it and sticking to it. So think about areas like the wheels right the lower fairing stuff like that where you know you know you just want to make it easier to clean next time you want a nice shine when you polish this it gives you a good shine there can be some streaks in it but you don't see any of that in these lower areas most importantly it leaves that protective coating so that next time when i go to wipe these wheels down spray that on a rag the grime's going to come right off a side benefit from this you can see I've got the air freshener hanging here. It smells amazing. That's why they make an air freshener for it that is now hanging in our office. And I've got one from the mirror of my truck right next to my Jerry Sailor Fuzzy Dice. For the upper areas of the bike, the tank, the windscreen, the upper fairing, the tail, especially areas where you're going to touch as a rider, you're counting on this bike, right, some grip from the tank when you lay on the tank with your chest and your leathers. So you don't want something that's going to leave a slippery coating like the SC1. You want something like the Speed Wax where when you finish it and you wipe it off, it's got a shine, it's clean, but it's not super slippery. So you're going to use this product. Once again, spray it on a rag, right? I clean the tank, I clean the windscreen, the upper fairing, and then I finished it with a microfiber cloth. These are the Maxima branded ones. They're cheap. We've got them on the site. So there you have it, man. This is, this is my journey. I am back, right? This, I have a lot of time invested in this because my bike was super dirty. Pig pen is not an overstatement. It's probably an understatement. And I'll tell you right now, this is as hot as they come. This thing's super sexy. It's one of those things, you're a bike guy, right? You're proud of your bike. You're gonna be even twice as proud of it if you've got it looking like I got mine looking right now.